Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Mission San Francisco Solano de Sonoma. I take two fingers on the left and I put a dot and from that dot I'm going to draw a slightly wavy line to about there and then I'm going to stop. I come back to the left and I'm going to draw some vegetation so I go wavy line up, down, up, down, up, down, connect. And now I can come back on the left and I'm going to draw a straight line down, bam. Come back up, straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down, straight line, connect. I come up to the top and I put a little straight line and then I draw a wavy, 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 wavy line down, wavy line, connect. Come back to this uh, top in the center, wavy, wavy line down, wavy line, connect. I come inside and now I draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect on the left, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line on the right. I come right here in the center and I put a straight line, straight line, connect. I come on the inside at the top and I'm going to draw a skinny rectangle and right here I'm going to draw a straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. I come right down below it and I'm going to draw another skinny rectangle and then I'm going to draw a straight line down, connect on the left, straight line down, connect on the right. I come back to the top and I draw little straight lines all the way across on the top section. Now I come to the bottom and I draw little straight lines all the way across on the very bottom. Okay? Now I come in on this section right here. Oops, I forgot to add my tiles. Sorry. Okay, add little curved lines going up on the left, little curved lines going up, I mean going down on the right. That makes more sense because now we're going to add more curved lines for more tiles. So I start on the um, left, going to the right, and I draw curved line, curved line, keep going, keep going, all the way over to the edge of your paper. I come back to where this floating line is down below, and I'm going to draw a straight line down, straight line over, straight line down, straight line connect. Then I'm going to draw a rectangle, skinny rectangle on the top. And on this section I'm going to do again straight line down, straight line over, straight line up, connect. Right in the center. I usually draw bells like triangles but this is big so I'm going to draw a curve line down and out on the left curve line down and out on the right, curve line, connect. Now I can take my floating line and continue it, so I draw a straight line there, jump over, and draw another line across. I come back up to the curved lines, and now I'm going to mimic that, curve line, curve line, curve line, all the way over, and right about here I'm going to draw another skinny rectangle. Then I draw a straight line, straight line, straight line. And I'm going to fill this in with little straight lines all the way across. I come on this section on the right and I just draw one, two straight lines. I come over on the left part and I think I'm going to add another row of tiles so all I have to do is just add another row of curved lines across, curved line inside, keep going and now I can add all of my straight lines to 
make this a tile roof. Now this takes time, so take your time. You might want to pause the video while you figure out how to draw all these little straight lines all the way across. Fun fact, this was the last mission of the 21 that they made and it is one of the simpler ones. Okay. Now I come back over and we're going to put some vegetation so I go curve line up, in, out, in, out, curve line up, in, light, in, out, in, out. This is an overlap, in, out, in, out. Down at the bottom I'm going to do straight line curve, straight line curve, straight line curve on the left. Make a break, jump over, now start again, straight line curve, curve all the way towards the right off the page. Now I'm going to come in and just put a little bit of vegetation so I just go up, down, up, down, curve line, up, down, up, down, curve line. And for my flowers I just do little half circles. If you want to get more detail you can. I come over on the right hand side and I'm just going to do up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, one more I can fit, up, down, and then I come back in with my little half circles. These are my flowers. Again, if you want to do them a little bit more realistic, you can. Alright, let's see. Right here by my bell, if you can fit it, I'm going to draw a straight diagonal up, jump over, straight line down. Okay, I think we're ready to color. Okay, let's see what we're going to do. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to color all of my doorways, and these are windows. I'm going to color these black, and right above that, I'm going to get my dark brown, and I'm going to color these all brown. I'm going to color my bell holder brown. This is also going to be brown, and this is going to be brown. Okay. I'm going to come in and do my flowers yellow. You can do those any color you want, but they seem to be kind of a scrubby flower. Not real bright, but they're there. So I'm doing those yellow. And I'm going to come in with my light green, color in my little flower bushes. And while I'm using the light green, I'm going to use it on my overlap bushes over here. Then I come in with my dark green and I do my bell. I do this bush. I think that's it. Then I'm going to do all of these tiles. Now I've got mahogany. You can use a dark brown. And I know it takes forever to do all of these tiles. But it looks really good if you can take the time and patience to do so. So this whole section over and across and all of these things over here, these are, should all be brown. All the way across. Okay. Now the bottom bottom, these are gray stones. So I'm using gray. If you want to do them with a light black, you can do that. If you don't have gray, I'm going to use my apricot for the brush, I mean the uh, kind of the dusty driveway or thoroughfare here, it looks kind of dry so I'm using my apricot and for a pop of color I use blue green in the background. Okay, I think that's it. Let's see what it looks like all colored in. Here's Mission, San Francisco, Solano de Sonoma, all colored in. Okay, bye-bye.